from finishing uni. I was very much ready to come home. And now I'm home for the summer. I think I will be going like back and forth between Nottingham and home, like depending who's where. But I thought I'd vlog today. I I personally love weekly vlogs, daily vlogs. They don't do best with my engagement, but I don't care. I like doing them. So I have a few things planned for today. Um, I really want to sort out a vintage. I came home and forgot how many clothes I had sitting in my wardrobe that I just don't wear. And I, the amount of clothes I have, I just don't need. And they're not like good enough to sell on Depop. I feel with Depop, they need to be like a really good brand, like kind of designer. But like a lot of things I have, I haven't worn. Well, no, I have worn multiple times. There's a lot of things that I have that uh, I have a lot of like River Island clothes because I used to work there that just aren't my style anymore. So I just want to sell them. I also want to make a beaded necklace because I bought so many beads. So excited for that. Um, and we'll see you the rest of the day it takes us. So I've got ready. Um, I've put my little clips in. I feel like a little child, but I think they're very, very cute. Got my new fruity top on. If you saw that from my last video, my little haul. We're a bit overexposed, so apologies for that. But I'm not a professional. We will see where the day takes us. Hopefully, this will be an in, in try to say interesting, exciting at the same time, interesting video for you to watch. And I hope you enjoy. I will tune in when I'm doing something exciting. <laughs> Being back at home means one thing. That one exciting thing is proper super noodles. The real deal. Now, as much as I love Aldi's 22p noodles. I feel like you can't beat the good one. Oh, actually, oh, I thought this was like some fried chicken. I'm gonna get the curry one. Mm -hmm. I'd like to say I'm quite the noodle kind of serve. These, top tip. Honestly, serve me this over any Michelin star meal and I'll be much happy with this. <laughs> the day is escaping me. It is literally half five already and i have not done a lot um i've just went to a new co-op near me very exciting but it was like a bougie co-op so it's called like finer foods but i got some tiger bread incredible reduced it was 30p for a whole baguette so i'm just gonna munch on that right now and then i'm finally gonna sort my vintage bits and bobs mm, right I had a scope out on vintage and I actually can't believe how cheap people are selling things for. I've literally just seen multiple tops for like a pound, but I guess that's really good because a lot of the stuff I'm selling probably isn't worth any more than like a fiver, but it's still good quality stuff. So what I'm gonna do is I've just kind of scoped out vintage to see if people are selling things like wearing it or whether it's just in a hanger but a lot of the stuff that i have doesn't even fit so i was like oh no let's hope that it's not always like try on but i've seen a lot of them where it's just like on the hanger so i think i think my tea's nearly ready anyway but shall i show you what we're dealing with because the amount of clothes i own is just silly and they could go f to a lot better more loving home than what i'm doing than wearing a top once a year which i still adore like i adore everything that is still in my wardrobe and that fits me but i have a lot of clothes that i've clung on to um that don't fit me anymore and haven't fitted me for a good couple of years I tried to tell myself i'd fit back into them but clothes are meant to fit you you're not meant to fit into your clothes so i'm going to finally say goodbye um to a lot of my trousers um so let me show you okay here's one of my wardrobes pretty much all of these trousers none of them fit anymore they're all far too small for me so they can all be sold i've got like going out dresses which obviously i haven't touched in like over a year this dress can definitely be sold just a lot of things that aren't even my style anymore these are all things i'm keeping like from my peach and jumpsuit that's all stuff i'm keeping where i'm i'm gonna try to sell all of these i think and then we've got my other wardrobe which these coats i can sell these i might keep this one if i have like a fancy event it's like a leopard print pea coat um so many jumpers i just don't wear still like really good quality and good condition i just 
I don't wear these clothes anymore so a lot of people can enjoy them a lot more than me and then if I come over to my tops to be fair a lot of these I would like all of these i still wear i've bought them from uni all of these i have a couple going out tops i've got loads of bandos i don't wear anymore i can sell a couple of them like this blue one i've got a matching scrunchie to it i don't wear that um body suits a lot of these see like these two i got when i worked for river island i just don't wear them anymore um oh right that was great <laughs> Oh my god, look how cute this is. My mum knitted me a jumper. How sweet. Obviously not quite the season, but how gorge. Um, a lot of these tops, just not my style anymore. Went through a lovely little mesh long sleeve phase. Just loads of things I just don't wear. So I think this evening I'll just have a gander on vintage. I probably, I don't know, the lighting's not that good in my room. I was going to say I could maybe... Um, take photos of the things that are just on hangers but maybe i'll wait until the morning to do that maybe i'll just have a little browse but already i was seeing things kind of getting hooked in because of the price like there was um a zara little the little vest like if you saw my last video i got the pink one it was a purple one it was two pounds and i was like oh my god i need it i don't need it because it's two pounds um yeah i think i might sort out piles of stuff i've got a pile of clothes there that has been there for like a year i know there's some white top shop flares in there that have never fitted me still got the labels in deck fit sell them key class top shop is vintage these days <laughs> um yeah we've got a task on our hands I'll start it today, I'll continue it tomorrow, I think. I don't want to just shove everything on there immediately. It's going to have to be more a gradual process, isn't it? Um, I always find it hard deciding how much you want an item to be. But I feel like a lot of these tops are probably like £5. These trousers, £10. Because there's a lot of these, these trousers, a lot of them are River Island. So, I mean, good quality. But I feel like that's going to be my task for the evening. I mean, it was my task for the day, but I just don't even know where the day's gone. You know, you just have a day completely go before your very eyes. Um, two magpies. Oh, shit, that's two for sorrow. I can't see any more magpies. That's sorrow. Okay, I'm going to go eat my curry. And then... um start taking some pickies maybe maybe I might do that tomorrow but i can't show you either way because i need my phone so just imagine me oh i'm going to sell this pair of trousers hook take a picture put it on my phone don't have a camera i'm afraid only on me me mobile um i think i am going to make a necklace later though so i'll show you that you know what time it is it's Love Island time. Get stuck into Love Island. We all know it's shit, but I've got to tune in so I can be part of the memes, you know? Hi, welcome to my bead haul. I think I'm going to make a little necklace whilst I watch Love Island. It's just the little adverts right now. But I've got some new beads. How cute are these flowers? Smiley faces. And then I've got some other flowers. And then I've got some little pearls. Because I've got these bigger ones, but I just thought some nice little ones i got all of these off etsy of a seller that sells loads so i can link that below and then i got loads of little ones they've all gone a little bit mixed which is annoying but i've got loads of these nice colors this is from amazon i can also link this as well and then i had this before so i think i'm just gonna make a nice little cute one maybe just one of these flowers yeah we'll see where it takes us I mean, let me f just, <laughs> I can't speak. Let me just flip you around. Yeah, some of them are blue, like round the side, but I did a little choker. Very cute, because I've got a couple of jumpers with green on, so I thought I'd tie that in. Very happy with that. 
Love Island, of course, leaving us on a cliffhanger, not telling us which boy Rachel's going to couple up with. But that's okay. That's fine. But let me sit you down. I think I'm going to finish it here. Apologies for awful lighting, awful angle, don't care. But what I'm going to do tonight now is take off my makeup um, and watch some YouTube. And that is about it. Oh, vintage update. I haven't sold anything, obviously, but um, I bought something. I've bought a Juicy Couture little zipper, pink, £15. Can't go wrong. I've literally been looking for one for ages on Depop, thinking it'd be any cheaper. They're literally like 60 quid. £15. <laughs> so excited for that to come. So hopefully that will all be fine. Then, yeah, tomorrow I'm going to do a proper setup of everything, get that all rolling. But. I hope you enjoyed my little day, maybe a little bit, bit mundane, but I feel like it's good to show that like <laughs> we're not all do still doing crazy things. Sorry, I'm literally tying up as I'm talking. We're not doing crazy things with our days all the time. Um, it's still a crazy time in the world. I know a lot of people that have tested positive recently. I will be keeping myself as safe as possible. I will be here in my room making more beaded necklaces. <laughs> um but yeah hope everyone stays safe and i hope you will have a lovely week and get up to some fun things or have a nice time chilling in your room okay thank you for watching and i will see you next week goodbye